My grandparents lived on this out in Tongala. Does anyone know Tongala? Yeah. A couple? Great. Excellent. Great. Excellent. Finlay Road. Um, and we used to go up there for all our breaks, um, go up to see my grandparents. And across the road were um, their sisters. And um, so we'd go out there every, every school holidays. And there was this really famous family that lived in the other road, other house across the road. Because there was this Essendon footballer. Um, and he played lots of games for, for Essendon and had a couple of children, Mark and Ken, and they were 10 years older than me. And they were playing football for Essendon and, and Collingwood for a little bit as well. And um, so I knew of this, this family. And I always actually thought I was adopted. I've never told you this, Ken. But I thought I was adopted and actually belonged to your family. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out it wasn't true. Uh, Ken's uh, late wife, Shirley, actually played hockey for Australia. She was cap 199. Georgia was cap 431, so a few years later. Um, so yeah, I always thought I belonged to the Fraser family, but no, I was belonged to the cousins on the other side of the road. Um, and it's only since really coming to Essendon that I've really learned how much of a like uh, stalwart for the club, the the um, the game that that Ken is. And so I thought it was only fitting coming to Windy Hill that I'd actually pass the storytelling time over to you, Ken. Thank you. But it is a real honour, and thank you, Natalie, for this opportunity. It uh, is a great honour to address you, Preble, and uh, to support Natalie. Um, and in a way, it, it sort of uh, it, it brings me back to my Tongala days with my late wife Shirley. She was fit. I was when I was calling her. She was far fitter than I was. <laughs> there I am, you know. Sort of. So I realised that young women can be powerful athletes, and that's stuck with me all these years. So congratulations on where you are as individuals. Off, I guess it's been in many ways. Um, you know, uh, a difficult time, you've overcome adversity. You've now represent, you're now representing this marvellous football club, this wonderful football club. And congratulations to you all on where you are and good luck today because it is an important match in the history of the football club. And you, in a way, are fortunate to be out there creating your own little bit of history. You need individual skills, of course, and you've all got that, but you above all need team skills, team coherence, team passion, so vital, mateship on the field, grit, encouragement, discipline, and all the things that Natalie has probably gone over your time and time. They're those things, and if you've beaten them next time, at one time it was your will at times, the next time you go harder, you go harder, and I'm hoping that you all come off absolutely mentally and physically exhausted because you were given everything and you won't come off with any regrets. And to symbolise this, the box of matches. You know what matches are. Right? Take, <laughs> Take out an individual match. Can you break that? Of course you can. Individuals, you break. You break that. 20 matches <laughs> tied together. <laughs> and you break that. Come on, Kato! No, you can't break it. No, you can't. No, you can't because they're wrapped together by those elements of love for each other, of love of the red and black, of determination, of skill, but above all of teamwork. That's what will wrap you together to be, make you unbreakable. Thank you and good luck.